Hi, my name is Cody Hosterman and I'll be showing you a demonstration of the Pure Storage Flash Array Storage Replication Adapter for VMware Site Recovery Manager. In this demonstration we'll go over the configuration of the storage replication adapter, including creating a protection group, installing the storage replication adapters, configuring the SRM array managers, protecting VMFS volumes, creating SRM protection groups, and recovery plans. Currently, we are looking at the flash array GUI of one of our flash arrays in our SRM environment. The first thing we're going to do is verify that our two arrays are connected to one another so they can replicate. As you can see, this array is connected to one of the other arrays. And to set it up, it's a quick process of giving the IP address of the management and replication ports. The next step we'll do is create a flash array protection group. A protection group is a logical grouping of volumes that are replicated consistently with one another. We'll name this one SRM Demo. We'll set up a replication schedule. We can either do a local snapshot schedule and or a remote uh, replication schedule as well. For this one, we'll just do a replication schedule. We will set this up to remotely replicate our snapshots every 25 minutes. We'll lose, leave everything else at the default. Our next step is to add a target flash array into this protection group. This will be the flash array that we can replicate to. We'll add the target flash array that we just verified connectivity to previously. The final step that we must follow to configure our protection group is go to our remote flash array and enable that protection group on that flash array. This will allow the source flash array to actually replicate its volumes to this target. This is the last step we have to do to configure anything outside of VMware vCenter or VMware Site Recovery Manager. Now what we'll do is log into the VMware vCenter Site Recovery Manager plugin for the web client. This is SRM version 5.8. We'll choose one of our SRM servers, and we can see that we don't currently have any storage replication adapters installed. So we need to install the Flash Array SRA. We're logged into the Windows SRM server, and now we're going to run and install the Pure SRA installer. It's a quick process, accept EULA. And click install now. This will place the SRA and a few other files onto the SRM server. We can verify in the control panel that indeed the SRA is installed. Now let's repeat this process on the other SRM server. This only needs to be done once per SRM server. Now that both the SRAs are installed, we can go back into Site Recovery Manager. If we refresh the SRA screen, we'll see that the SRA appears. This needs to be done once on each SRM server. Now that SRM can properly see both the SRAs, we can configure uh, our, our replication and protection within SRM. The first thing we need to do is configure our array managers. Array managers are simply instances of an SRA that controls given array pair and given volumes for those array pairs. We see that we have our flash array SRA. We'll choose that one and we'll give it a friendly name. This name can be anything that makes sense to you. After that, we have to give it the IP address or domain name of our local flash array and authenticated users. And then we also have to give it the IP address or domain name of our remote flash array and an authenticated user. This will create our array manager on SRM Server 1. We need to repeat this process for SRM Server 2 as well, which we'll do just in a second. Now that we're configuring our array manager on our other SRM server, we put in the same information, but the flash arrays are swapped. The local flash array is now the peer flash array, and the peer flash array is now the local flash array. 
and this is the only configuration you need to do to get the RS array to work. Once the second array manager is configured, it will list valid array pairs for the flash arrays that it finds. This listing comes from the connections that we verified earlier in the flash array GUI. Now we can go look at one of our array managers. Inside the array managers, it will list the enabled array pairs or disabled ones and the replicated volumes that are valid for that enabled array pair. So what we'll do now is we'll set up replication for a new volume that stores some virtual machines. I have two data stores that I'd like to protect, Infrastructure 1 and Infrastructure 2. As you can see, these data stores each host four virtual machines, a mixture of Linux and Windows VMs. I can actually update the protection of these virtual machines using the Pure Storage vSphere Web Client plugin. We can add these volumes to protection groups from within the web client. As you can see here, we have a listing of valid protection groups that we can add this volume to. The one that we just created earlier appears in there. So we'll add both of these data stores into that protection group. So these data stores will have remote snapshots created every 25 minutes. can switch over to our flash array GUI to verify that indeed, yes, these volumes are now inside of our protection group on the flash array. Now we can go back into Site Recovery Manager to start configuring SRM itself. So if we click on one of our array managers, we can rescan for new devices. Devices are returned that are inside of protection groups. Now that those two data stores are in a protection group, they'll be listed here in the discovered devices, as you can see on the top. Now that these volumes are now recognized as replicated by Site Recovery Manager, we can add them to a Site Recovery Manager protection group. An SRM protection group is just a grouping of data stores that you'd like to fail over together. This one, of course, can be either RDMs or VMFS data stores. So we'll choose the site and then the SRA. And then we'll choose our two data stores that are now replicated by Flash Recover. Optionally, you can add a description, and then we'll finish the wizard to create the protection group. The very last step of configuration of SRM in the Flash Array Flash Recover is to create a recovery plan. A recovery plan is the automation of the failover of these data stores or RDMs. We'll choose a site. We'll add our protection group with our replicated volumes. Optionally description. And then we'll finish it to create the recovery plan. We are now fully configured and ready for failover. To verify, let's take a look at the virtual machines inside of this recovery plan. As you can see here, they are all noted to be ready to be recovered. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next two demos of Test Failover and then Failover.